well, it would seem that the satanic Jesuit Pope Francis has come out in favor of the Catholic bishops and the Catholic clergy of the Mystery Babylon Roman Catholic Church embracing men of Sodom and actually coming out and subtly condoning and subtly almost pushing acceptance of homosexuality among the Catholic clergy, which is not really surprising when you consider the fact that Roman Catholicism is just a uh, continuation of the old Greco-Roman heathen empires. And though that empire would, I mean, the Greco-Roman heathen, you know, the, the Greco-Roman heathen customs, the Greco-Roman heathen empires, uh, they were filled with all kinds of sexual perversion. And the Roman Catholic Church is doing very well at continuing on that tradition of perversion and immorality. But this is on uh, Al Jazeera. It says, We're all children of God. Pope says homosexuality not a crime. In an interview with the AP, Francis criticizes laws criminalizing homosexuality and calls on bishops to welcome LGBTQ people. Yeah. Not surprising from this satanic... Jesuit Pope, the, basically the, the uh, Jesuit White Pope, and his hench, essentially his uh, under the command essentially because he, he Francis is the White Pope, and he is the henchman of the master occult leader, the Black Pope, is who he takes his orders from, and both both of which are Jesuits by the way. Pope Francis is a Jesuit, and openly a Jesuit, but not surprising when you consider the fact that Jesuits are also filled with all kinds of perversion, being the Catholic cultists that they are. What it says here in the article, Pope Francis has criti uh, criticized laws that criminalize homosexuality as unjust, saying God loves all his children just as they are, and called on Catholic bishops who support the laws to welcome LGBTQ people into the church. Being homosexual is not a crime, Francis said during an interview on Tuesday with the Associated Press. Really? Is that what the Word of God says? Romans 1 verse 26-27 says that, uh, about how men with men is unnatural. What about Genesis 13, 13? The men of Sodom are wicked, sinners before the Lord exceedingly. What about Leviticus 20, 13, Leviticus 18, 22? What about Genesis 19, verse 4 to 7? What about Judges 19, verse 22 down to verse 24? I mean, just so many verses. But of course, Catholic tradition overthrows the Word of God in this satanic mystery Babylon religion of Romanism. Again, just continuing on the traditions of their old, of their Greco-Roman forerunners, I'll put it that way. Or sorry, Greco-Roman, uh, yeah, forerunners. And, uh, blanked out there for a second. But it says here in the article, uh, Francis acknowledged that, that Catholic bishops in some parts of the world support laws that criminalize homosexuality or discriminate against L the LGBTQ community. And he himself referred to the issues in terms of sin. But he attributed such attributes to cultural backgrounds and said bishops in particular need to undergo a process to change to of change to recognize the dignity of everyone. These bishops have, sorry, have to have a process of conversion. He said, adding that they should apply tenderness, uh, sorry, tenderness, please, as God has for each one of us. Some 67 countries or jurisdictions worldwide criminalize consensual same-sex sexual activity, 11 of which can or do impose the death penalty according to the human... Dignity Trust, which works to end such laws. Ex experts say that even where law, so, so even where the laws are not enforced, they contribute to harassment, stigmatization, and violence against LGBTQ people. Well, I, I'm not condoning violence, but this idea that oh, we're all God's children. Well, you're not God's child if you're not born again. <laughs> and you, you know, there's no such thing as a gay Christian. Okay, uh, you can be a Christian who struggles with, you know gay attractions or you know homosexual leading attractions but you're not going to be there's no, there's no such thing as a as a christian who's right with god you know as the proper term would be more kind of born again saint or whatever because christians isn't you know it's not a title we gave ourselves a, a bit of a side issue but uh there's no such thing as a born again saint who is open and proud about his homosexuality you may have one that struggles with it but he's not going to be open and proud about it so when i say there's no such thing as a, as a gay you know saint it's I'm referring to it, there's no such thing as a saint who is proud about gayness. But continuing on the article, it says, In the United States, more than a dozen states still have anti-sodomy laws on the books despite a 2003 Supreme Court ruling declaring them unconstitutional. Yeah. Back when America did have a bit more morality, yeah. But it says here in the article, Gay rights advocates have antiquated... Sorry, antiquated... Uh, laws to, uh, that are used to harass homosexuals to point to new legislation such as the Don't Say Gay law in Florida, which, which forbids instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity in kindergarten through third grade as evidence uh, and, and uh, sorry, as evidence of continued efforts to marginalize LGBTQ people. I want to say something about that. Um, 
how is that marginalizing them? It's just saying that, hey, you know, kids who are too young to understand that stuff shouldn't be taught that stuff. I mean, since when can somebody in kindergarten understand sexual orientation and gender identity? Huh? Even third grade. I mean, I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find a kindergartner who, you, who knows what sex is in general. Oh, it's marginalizing LGBTQ people by not confusing a kindergartner about this kind of stuff. So apparently, a kindergartner. So here's here's what these guys are sent these these uh, sodomite activists are essentially implying: a kindergartner who is not even old enough to, you know, I mean, he's not old enough to do much of anything. He's, chances are he's not even old enough to sit without a, you know, booster seat in some cases. But he's, he's able to understand sexual orientation and gender identity, apparently. Yeah. But that's, but saying that, you know, we're not going to tell someone that young that, oh no, that's marginalizing them. What a bunch of garbage. Anyway, continuing on, it says the United Nations has repeatedly called for an end to, to laws criminalizing homosexuality outright, saying they violate rights to privacy and freedom from discrimination and are a uh, breach of countries' obligations under international law to protect the human rights of all people, regardless of their sexual orientation and uh, gender identity. Declaring such laws unjust, Francis said the Catholic Church can and should work to put an end to them. It must do this, it must do this, he said. Huh. Interesting how Francis, the Jesuit Pope, is agreeing with the UN. Interesting how that whole thing works. But then again, the UN, the, the New World Order type organization that it is, well, they're obviously in cahoots with Rome because, well, you know, what's coming with the Antichrist rule? You know, a Catholic New World Order. So, fit, uh, very fitting that he's siding with that New World Order organization known as the UN. But what a bunch of garbage. I mean, seriously, just denying what Scripture says, which is very common. It's just kind of a custom with Roman Catholicism because their traditions overthrow the Word of God. But it just, again, continuing on their long tradition of the Satanic Jesuit Order and the Catholic Church in general of having sexual perversion, you know, uh, subtly either promoting it or having it rife within their system which again just continuing on the old tradition of their greco-roman forerunners so anyway i wanted to point that out uh, don't be deceived by romanism it's of the devil and the jesuit order that francis is a part of is also of the devil their jesus is not the jesus of god's word so anyway may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye